Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to be going over uh, setting up our EasyAR SDK inside of Unity and also setting up uh, our SDK on the EasyAR website which uh, is needed in order to uh, set up our app. So first of all, I'm going to go here to the EasyAR.com website. This is where uh, we can set up our developer account and also download the SDK for Unity. And yep, yeah, so EasyAR is an augmented reality SDK. And recently they've had quite a few new features added uh, to the SDK, to EasyAR, which is making it a fairly competitive product compared to others such as ARKit and ARCore. So on the EasyAR website, let's begin by signing in or signing up uh, if you don't have an account. So uh, if you click sign up, you'll go to this page here where you just need to enter in some information such as username, email, and your password. I've already got an account, so I'm just going to sign in over here. And when you sign in, you'll see that you get taken to the EasyAR portal here. And what we need to do here is create something called a license key. And a license key will allow us to use the SDK inside of our Unity project. Uh, so let's create one right now. Over here, make sure you are on the Sense auth Authorization uh, page right here. And click on I need a new Sense license key. You can create... Uh, I believe as many as you want, so if you want multiple AR projects, you can do that. Although EasyAR does have um, various different uh, plans and packages that you can purchase. Uh, but we're just going to stick with the personal uh, package for now because that really has all the features that we need. If you do want to go more in depth with uh, the spatial mapping and using their cloud services, then you might want to look into some of the paid uh, packages. So I'm just going to click on, I need a new sense license key right here. And first up, we need to choose the type. Uh, we're going to stick to EasyAR Sense 4.0, the most recent one. And let's select the EasyAR Sense 4.0 Personal Edition. Uh, you click, can click Professional if you want, uh, but that is one of the paid options. And right here, it's asking us the authorized function. So these are just all the things that we'll have access to, which is fine. We are only going to be focusing on uh, image tracking, so planner, in, planner image tracking. Uh, because that is one of their strengths. Now, down here, we need to enter in some application details. First of all, the app name. It really doesn't matter what you call the app, so we can really call that whatever we want. So I'm just going to enter in here our Easy AR Image Tracking. And then you'll see that we have the supported platforms, iOS, Android, uh, Windows. If you are publishing to a mobile device, then you're covered right here. Uh, and now we need to enter in the bundle ID and the package name. Now, what these are, um, these are the unique identifiers that your app will have. If you're on an Android device, it's called a package name, and on iOS, it's called a bundle ID. And this is needed for each and every app that you have on your phone so that the uh, operating system knows what it is and so that it doesn't really try to conflict with other apps with the same name. Uh, so I'm going to be filling the one out for Android since that is the device I'm going to be publishing to. The general layout for setting up a uh, package name or bundle ID is by first going com for company, uh, dot your company name, so I'm just going to put in here Zenva, although you can put your name or whatever company name you want. And then we're going to go dot and then the product name. So our product name, we're just going to have uh, Easy AR Image Tracking App. You can really call this whatever you want. Uh, we just need to make sure that we do have the exact same package name or bundle ID for when we hop over inside of Unity as we need to make sure that these two match up so that EasyAR knows that this is the uh, bun this is the SDK key we are trying to connect to. Now that we have that, we can choose our spatial mapping region. Since we're not really going to be looking at the spatial mapping features, we don't really need to choose this. Uh, we can skip over some of this stuff here and we should just be able to click confirm right now. So we'll click on that. Uh, we do need to enter in a database name though for the spatial map database, even though we're not going to be using it. So let's just put in our EasyAR image tracking. Click confirm. And this will take us then to uh, the previous page. But now we have a new field here called EasyAR image tracking. We have our SDK key, our license key. Uh, we can click on that and it will take us to this page right here. And as you can see, there is this very large license key. Uh, we'll need to copy this as we do need this over in Unity when we want to set up the app so it knows uh, which license key it wants to connect to. So we can copy that. And now what we can do is download the actual SDK uh, for Unity. 
So for this, we want to go back to the EasyAR website. Just click up top left on the EasyAR icon. Go over to Download. And we just want to click on the EasyAR Sense Unity plugin here at the top. This will take us down to the Unity plugin page. And let's just download the Unity uh, zip right here. It is around 60 megabytes, so it may take some time to download. But in the meantime, let's open up a brand new Unity project. I've got one right here. Um, and when that is finished downloading, it is going to have a Unity package file, which we can just drag and drop into the project, and that will install the entire SDK automatically. Okay, now that it's finished downloading, we can open up the zip folder right here. And inside of this zip, you'll see that we have a number of things. We first of all have the Unity package, which is mostly all of the size. And then we just have a readme for, uh, I believe this is the Chinese readme right here. And we have a English readme. So I'm going to extract this to somewhere on my computer. And then over back inside Unity, I'm going to drag and drop this file into our project window down here. And it's going to start decompressing the package. And it's quite a large package, but when it is done, it'll pop up with this window right here. And let's just click on import. And this here is going to import the SDK, it's going to import all the scripts, all the plugins, all of the things we need to run EasyAR. So that's going to be doing that right there. And make sure you do have your EasyAR SDK key, SD key, key uh, copied to your clipboard as we're going to be pasting in uh, right now. So what we want to do here is go up to EasyAR on the top here. Uh, it's now appeared. We can click EasyAR. And then we can click on change license key right here. Click on that. And then over here in the EasyAR SD key license key field, we can just paste in our license key like so. Quite a big number. Uh, and that's pretty much it. We are now connected to our EasyAR uh, SDK over on the EasyAR website. So it knows that we are authorized and we are now able to, to use the app. In the next lesson, we're going to begin to actually set up our Unity project. We're going to be changing some of the project settings and setting up our folders down here for when we begin to actually create our image targets. So I'll see you all then in the next lesson.